Hello, here is BB Walker. Welcome back in another review video and unboxing. Today I get for you the Sony Cybershot RX100 Mark III, uh, which is a mirrorless uh, digital camera, uh, which is really good. Uh, it, it have a very good opinion in the internet. So I decided to replace my old Canon 60D with uh, exchangeable lens, it was DSLR, into this. This is DSC, which means it's a compact uh, camera uh, with video recording capabilities, of course, for using with uh, YouTube productions and, and so on. Uh, so in today's video we will do... Uh, this is how it looks actually the box unboxing is really boring because inside we can take a look what is inside. So in today's video we will make a review, sample shots, sample videos and this is recorded using the Sony camera HDR but the, some samples I will also post in this video. So actually inside you got the instructions, instructions more instructions here is the place where the camera was actually uh, it's only these holes and uh, this one hold uh, handle is attached already I have done it before I recorded this video you get the separate place uh, here when you put the battery uh, I can show you how it looks so you press this lock in to open and this is the place where you put the battery this is how it should look so this is this arrow and this arrow from here so you put the maybe we will okay so this is how it looks the battery it comes here in the um, in the box so you press it click and now the battery is locked so this is simple how to install the battery uh, you put this cover here and press this now it's good scene from open to lock. And this is all. Actually, how you replace the battery. You get only one battery in a box. So unboxing it's done. There is nothing interesting about the warranty cards, instructions, and so on. So let's put this away. And let's talk about the camera itself. This is Mark III, uh, so the generation number three. And uh, the second, um, what uh, actually uh, the sensor is the same, it's a one inch uh, CMOS uh, Air uh, Sony uh, sensor, and the optics is Carl Zeiss. Uh, it's a zoom of uh, lens from 1.8 to 2.8 uh, aperture. And the, the this is one inch um, lens, so the focal length, the natural focal length is um, 8.8 to 25.7, uh, but uh, in an equivalent of full frame, it will be something between 24 millimeters to 85, if I remember well. So you get the very wide uh, angle. Um, from very wide angle to portrait to, to big uh, zoom. So it's uh, actually a zoom built in lens. Carl Zeiss, the producer. <coughs> Various sonar. Okay, <coughs> so what ha what change uh, against the, the previous version? Uh, first is this rotatable uh, LCD display, which is really cool if you want to take a shots from this perspective or even as a selfie mode you can shot yourself maybe I will ex show you how it looks okay so now I'm recording myself uh, so the, the the whole screen here is um, the whole screen here is um, in a mirror so you actually see you uh, like in the like in the the, the smartphone uh, when you use the front camera very cool option so you get this uh, rotatable um, LCD screen 
what else you get here? You get this viewfinder. Viewfinder, which is actually located here and it's uh, hidden. But if you press this, the camera starts and the viewfinder goes out. And this is not an optical viewfinder. This is a very small LCD screen like this. And it have this, um, this uh, sensor uh, proximity sensor it's called from the smartphones if I remember well but actually if you put your eyes here the main uh, screen uh, turns off and this one starts working if you get this uh, everything back to normal okay so I hide the sensor because I started the camera using the finder and if I press it again the camera turns off uh, what else? We get the flashlight here. Uh, pretty smart, I think, because uh, it's uh, normally uh, hidden and doesn't require place. And this is actually a, a, not LCD, it's a, a LED flashlight. Uh, so you can, if you don't need, you just lock it. It's a really sensitive camera, it gets a lot of uh power in uh, i mean the sensor is very good so in the low light it really shows the capabilities of this great this great uh, sensor and this great optics okay so um, that was the differences between the previous models um, so the viewfinder uh hidden viewfinder and the flashlight uh, the previous generation you can hear pair uh, they haven't this uh, rotatable uh, LCD screen and sorry some technical problems here okay maybe it's okay now so actually there's three different uh, things uh, sensor uh, LCD screen uh, rotatable uh, viewfinder built in and a flashlight hidden in the body of the camera the camera itself is really really uh, small Actually, it can be held in your one hand, and so it's very easy. It's smaller than smartphone today. Actually, it's a size of the I don't know credit card, maybe uh, some thicker, of course. But you can easy put in your pocket and go to do some some shots. Okay, so very compact and very powerful. And now I will show you some some stuff. Here is my I don't know it's a clock and let's make some uh, some, some shot okay so first the fully automatic aperture priority sorry and uh, the fully automatic is this one it's uh, intelligent auto intelligent auto and uh, this is this red mode it actually automatically identifies the scene characteristics and shot a photo. Okay, so let's check how it shots. Um, okay, so and we got the first the first photo. I will show you here, but also uh, later on the on the video. Okay, so we get the first fully automatic. Mm. In this mode, if you here, here is the ring, uh, which is a multi, multi tool, multi functional ring. It could work as a aperture uh, setting or a focus uh, setting. And actually, mm, in this in this mode, which is very automated mode, let's see, uh, you actually cannot do anything anything let's actually uh, if you want to access your options fast here is this function button it's really good so what actually can you do in this intelligent auto mode you can actually only change the manual uh, focus or uh, flash mode auto uh, turn off always fire I'll out of flash 
And actually the drive mode, which is one single shot, continuous shotting and speed priority continuous. And of course the self timer 10 seconds. Uh, because this is very basic automatic mode and you don't have here some things. The next one is the Superior Auto. The device beauty shots automatically while reducing blurring and noise. Okay, so let's check how this beauty shot works. So this is this uh, beautiful screen with blurring, etc, etc. This is how it looks. Of course, here you can see any difference. But we, uh, we, what about the parameters of the photo? The ISO was 320, uh, aperture 1.8. Uh, and the shooter was 113 uh, because I got here a very powerful light for the Sony camera um, but it seems pretty pretty nice we got some flower here later to test the depth of field okay uh, so uh, program auto automatically search aperture and shutter speed other settings can be set as desire and here is this P is more advanced mode, so you can do some creativity here. And what do we have here? Ah. Great. So now in the function mode, we get this uh, more options. First of all, we get the exposure uh, connection. Uh, we get the focus area, so it would be center focus. Uh, flexible spot, lock on, and wide, which is actually um, best for more more cases if you are shooting in scenario, different uh, objects from different um, distances, and you want to have as much as possible to in focus. And the center, of course, we get the center. Sorry, again, problem with the scenario. So we need a quick fix here and quick fix here. All right. Um, so actually, let's go back. What I have: we have exposure, com uh, compress, flash, com compress. Uh, ISO. In this mode, first we can change the ISO. The ISO range is from yeah, 100. Of course, auto is also available, but uh, let's take a look how big ISO it's here. We got 12, 1280. It's a pretty big ISO. Pretty big ISO. And, and yes, it, it, it works. I was testing it. It's, it's worth the money. Actually, it works. Uh, okay, mm, let's let's go further. So in this program we get more options. Um, yes, if, if you select the ISO, you can use this ring to change the value. But also, um, if you go back in this P mode, uh, here is the histogram in real time, but. Uh, what what happened if you if you use this uh, this ring here? This main ring changed the ISO and the aperture uh, in parallel because it's a P mode, not a manual, full manual. But uh, uh, against this, we got this here. And actually, in this mode, you have uh, a bond, a connection between the aperture and the um, shutter speeds so actually it's the same but if you switch to the aperture priority in the ring you have of course you need to press this you have uh, in the ring the aperture as, as seen here so I am now I'm changing the ring and the aperture is changing uh, of course we get the widest options 24 equivalent uh, so I have this 1.8 available if I do more zoom 
here is uh, how it looks now it's 70 millimeters yes so here uh, it shows the the equivalent of full frame so we got the range from 24 to 70 not uh, 85 as i said before but to 70 um, but in 70 of course we get this aperture 2.8 as shown on the lens so this is a zoom from 1.8 to 2.8 okay so uh, what else mm, as i said in aperture priority uh, using the rings you change the aperture but here you can change the aperture also in this mode uh, the ring and this additional uh, works the same here is some tips shown AV AV which is aperture aperture this two maybe I will be able yes here you, you have this is the first is the ring and the second is this this rotator here but in fully automatic when it's manual exposure and this is the most advanced mode you can do everything you want here so you can change the aperture you can change the aperture using the ring and using the uh, this you can change the shutter speed now I have a pretty big light with very big ISO so I need to change the ISO of course let's I think 200 is enough for this light and of course the shutter speed not such big let's take 125 and open the objective wide so now I have the parameters ISO 200 uh, aperture 1.8 and the shutter speed 115 and I make a shot and this is the manual fully manual uh, shot with the autofocus set to focus mode uh, single shot AF if you change here to manual focus in this um, super advanced manual mode using the ring you change the focus it's absolutely very good it's also available in the filming so you can have this this feeling of the DSLR if you like the ring and making the focus with the ring you are able to do this and here you get the shutter speed and the rest of the options you need to enter the FN function button and for example uh, change the uh, ISO and now start rotating with the ring and actually it works really really fast let's change ISO to automatic automatic okay Uh, let's change the manual focus to automatic single shot and with the ring we get the aperture again so now I make a shot with ISO automatic single shot uh, autofocus and this is the third photo this is how it looks pretty nice okay so um, what else about the controls here because i can talk a lot of techniques that you have here um, memory recall uh, shot with present settings in a memory and movie of course movie in a movie we get also four programs sub programs it's a program auto auto movie shots where aperture and shutter speed are automatic other features can be said aperture priority in, in filming so in the ring you can control the aperture shutter priority so in the ring you control the shutter speed and manual exposure in movies which is pretty cool because you can do a lot of stuff and uh, set exposure focus and uh, shutter speed iso and filming it's very good okay but um, for the presentation purposes let's change into program automatic and let's uh, 
to start recording you are using this button like in Canon so not the main shutter speed but this one for recording so now I'm starting recording this first video demonstration you can see in both cameras and I'm, I'm approaching the clock let's take a look uh, flower here so the automatic uh, focus in uh, filming works really good I think let's make a transition so you can see the aperture also change because here I get more light than here here is more light so exposure corrections works pretty decent and now I am on the 25 uh, 24 uh, focal length let's do some zooming and check how it's zooming now I'm zooming not not uh, moving okay and here is the minimal uh, distance is about 30 centimeters so we probably won't even see the camera now I'm zooming it's almost maximum now I'm in maximum zooming, it, which is the equivalent of focal length 70 millimeters. Let's check how the autofocus works in this bigger focal length. There are about two seconds of reaction, uh, but it's it works smooth. There is no this blinking focus, which I know from HTC 10 and other smartphones, which is really disturbing. It, it's changed this focus very very smooth very blending so it, it is absolutely not so hyper speed but for filming purposes I think it's really good now I'm backing the focus back to 24 millimeters and you have this video here and here because I'm filming also okay so for filming we got um, stop okay so uh, what can we do in filming mode we get the full 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 hd resolution is the maximum in mark 3 in mark 4 you get 4k here there is no 4k so remember it but the price is really good i think uh, comparing to the Mark IV, Mark V. Um, okay, and the, uh, let's see about the options, uh, about the uh, aspect ratio, ratio, which is 60 to 9. Okay, uh, menu to go back. File format, we got this MP4, H, uh, this is the Sony, the first is the Sony format, here is some uh, and the MP4, of course, uh, widely used uh, in a... The default is HVHD, which is also in the Sony camcorders. Uh, there is no setting for the... For the bitrate. Uh, sorry, yes, here is a recording. So we got the... The following modes, uh, which is uh, interpolated 50 frames per second in uh, uh, 24 megabits, uh, it's a bitrate. Uh, so super fine. Uh, with full, um, I do not recommend the interpolated frames, the full frames, which is the P mode. And we get the 50 frames per second, P mode 28. So the biggest file, but the, the, the best quality. Okay, records FT frames, progressive, yes, it's a full frame which is progressive for maximum quality. Um, so, okay, uh, we talk about the controls, here is the zoom, so you change the focal length, of course, and it works really okay. Uh, we, we get this, here is the recording button, the menu, menu back cancel uh, preview so you can watch your photos you have made during this this uh, presentation this writable as a kitten you can easily change 
go back or shuttle press you got again into um, recording mode uh, panorama sweep panorama screen selection so some predefined mode in most cases you the intelligent auto and uh, or if you are advanced you can use the manual exposure to set all the stuff if you are interested in about techniques uh, I am saying it about the focal length, about the aperture, about the shutter speed. What are the correlation between the ISO, shutter speed, aperture, focal length, and you want to know how it impacts your photograph or your movie, because actually it refers to the photography and the movie. You can give me a comment or I can explain a, a, and prepare a special video about this one. Um, so I'm using this camera for a month. Um, very good quality of the sensor, very good in the low light condition. I I will also prepare so low light video soon. Um, really compact size, which is uh, advantage. <laughs> in some cases, it's a disadvantage because uh, holding it tight it's difficult. So I use a a monopod to I got here and hold it in this one it gives you more stable hold because you know very lightweight it's difficult to stabilize but there is also built-in image stabilization which works really good you can see on the maximum zoom on the maximum focal length the videos are also smooth from freehand of course um, we got the multi, uh, this multi connection. It's a USB actually for charging uh, and other connectivity to the computer. HDMI, which is micro HDMI, I will show you this one. It's look like a micro USB, but it's HDMI. So be aware. Uh, battery standard 3.8 uh, mount for the three pots here is the card mm, the card exchange is actually in the same place where the battery I will show you this but you can press it and move it's a standard SDA card uh, I use the 48 meg, uh, gigabits from SanDisk hyper uh, high speed card class one uh, it's okay, there's no problem. Um, okay, so what else? If you have any questions, because I probably won't say about everything, uh, power button, flashlight, I was talking about all of this. So <laughs> I think all the buttons, levers I have explained to you. So if you have any more questions, just give me a comment. Thanks for watching. I know it's a long movie, but I was able to I want to say about everything I remember uh, and do it as good as possible. So thanks again for watching. It was BB Walker, Sony RX100 Mark III uh, review about one month. See you later.